What is up guys? Uh, today we're doing a Pokemon design video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but uh, I thought that I would do another one here today. So uh, let's get right into it. So for this first one, uh, I wanted to, for, for this whole line basically, I wanted to do uh, where usually the there's a like a normal type bird that turns into a, a normal flying type uh, as it, at its third stage, and then there's like a like a rat or like a dog or something that's normal type, and it it just stays normal type uh, throughout both of its stages. Um, and basically, I just wanted to uh, change that and uh, make the the flying type. The, the dog, so uh, I looked for uh, African, like, different stuff, uh, and I found there is a, like, an African legend uh, that is a lynx that uh, rides around on a cloud, so um, that's basically where the design came from. Uh, I made it, I drew it, th this one, more like a, like a, uh, like a little baby version uh, he's got big eyes, you know, he's got a little smile going on. Um, and I gave him the cloud tuft around his around his neck and his tail is the cloud. Um, he's supposed to be like in that pose like he's uh, like he's about to try and play with you, like he's wagging his tail or whatever. So that was cool. And then when I so I do these on paper, right? And you know, when I'm on when they're on paper, I don't color them. And I drew, I colored his eyes like that, like black with a white line and then another bit of black. And um, when I put that on the computer, when I drew it on the computer right here, it didn't, it didn't look very good. And I was kind of wondering what to do, but I think it ended up looking all right. Because I think if I added color anywhere, it would have looked way worse. Um, so that's him. He's got that tuft of hair on the top. I don't really know what that is, but... It's fine, I guess. Uh, I almost forgot his foot in the back. Um, his back, his back right foot. I almost forgot to put that in. So that's good that I put it in there. Uh, he's like kind of beaten up. You see his ears are kind of chomped up and uh, and all that. They're a little floppy. If he was running, it would be like paper. Uh, when if you run paper back and forth. Um, and then I guess I'll talk about his shiny colors. He's got, or, uh, you don't see it here, but uh, you'll see in a minute. Uh, he's got orange and blue. And I wasn't really sure what to do with his colors. Um, so I just kind of picked one that I liked and went with that. Doesn't really mean anything. Um, yeah. But that's, but that's him. Caracloud, the foggy lynx Pokemon. Children in the Camp Sui region have stories about seeing Kara Cloud flying in the sky. But this is only partly true because while this Pokemon cannot fly, its evolution can. Uh, Alright, so for this one, um, I actually had some issues with this one uh, while I was making it. This was the last one that I made. And I literally just finished it, like the whole Pokedex entry, everything, right now because... Uh, at the time that I'm recording this, uh, my uh, Photoshop subscription has now, it's it's gone now. So uh, it was through the school that I was just at, and so it's I can't use it anymore. So and I knew this was going to happen eventually. I just didn't know. I was kind of crossing my fingers. It was going to be right after this was done so that I could spend like a day and a half learning uh, GIMP instead of learning it right now, but that's, it's okay. It's probably better that I learn it now anyway. Um, well, let's talk about the design now, I guess. Uh, it's, uh, it's not my best design. Uh, it's actually probably my least favorite design out of these ones. Uh, but I think it came out better than the birds do, which you'll see in just a second. Uh, I, it's basically just a bigger adult version of the other one, which happens a lot with Pokemon. It's just the same thing, but bigger, usually. Uh, for this one, his tail is so big that it goes... He rides around on it, so... I think that's really cool. I think I could have done better with the cloud 
the tail part because in the other one he's kind of facing to the right a little bit but on this one he's sort of facing straight forward and the tail comes out the side so I could have maybe done something else there I don't know um the ears were a little bit tricky because uh, the ones I have on my picture are completely different and I didn't really want to make it the exact same as the other one with the big ears like an actual lynx but I might go back and change that I don't know um I might make them look like a better version of the lynx ears that are still small I don't know um I thought about doing something with the neck cloud making it more prevalent like maybe it's part of his like maybe his whole upper half is cloudy or whatever but I I don't know Maybe we'll change it. I don't know. Uh, so that's Cloudkull. Cloudkull, the floating lynx Pokemon. Cloudkull can usually be spotted flying around the skies of the Kamsui region, making it hard for trainers and researchers alike to catch them. If one is able to catch one of these Pokemon, they make very good friends because they latch themselves emotionally to their partners and will do just about anything they ask of them. Some local legends even depict this Pokemon as a genie, so there might be more about this creature we don't yet know. So for this Pokemon, uh, like with all of them that I've done so far, I, I draw them on paper and and then I, I don't color them, so I just kind of I do that later. And for this one, I I wanted him to be like this regal looking, like he like he's just like everything's about me kind of guy. And, um, I think it came out all right. He's not looking up, like, with his chest puffed out as much as I have it on the, on the paper. But then also, I had the... When I drew the tails, I didn't draw them with depth. I just drew lines, like, just one line for each tail. And they don't... They're not as curly and, and everything as they are... They end up being on this one. And then same with the feet. I don't really have any depth to the feet they're just sticks so you know that's i had to do something later with that and i think it ended up all right here too because i have it to where he's like stepping with his foot you know he's not he's perfect little steppy boy pretty awesome um and i changed his eyes as well because originally his eyes went all the way to the beak but i changed that to where they're not quite all the way to the beak um, and then I, I also added some tufts of feathers coming off of his wings. So he's not he's not completely pristine, um, but he thinks he is. And, and so um, that's kind of the idea with the with this Pokemon. Um, the colors for him were really hard for me because I wanted the tail to be the same color as the top of his head. But they they don't connect. So I need to maybe make the tail... Something else, I don't know. I, I think it looks alright, but it clearly there's just like a stop where the color stops and then there's a different color and yeah. It's not great. And with the eye, I didn't really know what to do with it either because I don't I don't color my stuff on paper. So the eye's just kinda black. I wish that I would have made it just black instead of with the white like pupil thing. But I think it works. Um, this line didn't really turn out that great. So I, I think for this and from now on as well, I, I will be showing the, uh, my sketches on paper as well. So, uh, yeah, so that's Dilac. Dilac, the twin-tailed Pokemon. Dilac considers itself as better than all creatures around him. So trainers might have a hard time getting him to battle. If it feels threatened, it will usually run away. But if it does decide to attack... It will turn away from its opponent and attack with its twin tails, which have a surprising amount of strength. So, for Trilac, um, I, I'm just going to say it. It looks it looks really bad. Um, he's, he's like nothing like what I drew. It looks so much worse. I need to just redraw it. Um, but I guess I'll explain myself as good as I can. So... I originally had, he's supposed to be like this fat, like, bird that's just kind of sitting there. He's not, doesn't care about nothing. 
and I think my sketch looks really good, but the the one that I that we got now is just not. I I originally on this on this version I did the the feet like I have on the sketch, and it looked like he was gonna fall over, so I had to f change that. Um, and I I just couldn't get the shapes right. It just wasn't it wasn't working, and it's just it's just so much worse. But the there I don't know if it's on your screen yet, but I have there's like a diaper thing that I put on him for this version that's not on my original sketch that mixes the colors up a little bit better because. My other one was just going to be two colors, basically. So, it looks a lot better. And originally, I had two long tails. Like with uh, Dilac. But, I don't think it, it looked as good. Um, but, yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, I it doesn't look the same at all, so... I, I will be from now on showing my sketches and I'll probably even do a separate video showing all of the sketches for the other ones I had uh, before this. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Trilac, the triple-tailed Pokemon. Trilac, unlike Dilac, is very lazy and almost can't survive in the wild on its own. Trainers will have an even harder time with this evolution than its predecessor because it will usually just not do anything much less attack. So I really do apologize for this whole set. It's just so bad. I need to redo it. Um, Dilac is alright. Trilac is pretty bad. And then this one is just... Ugh. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, so this one was meant to be really fat. Like, bottom heavy. And I didn't originally have four wings. But... Um, well, I do on the drawing, but that's because I redrew the rings instead of, and instead of, um, just erasing the other set, I, I changed it. I wanted to just have the two, pa like, facing forward, where, like, he's flapping, and then, I don't know, it just didn't end up going very good. I think the main reason the sketch works is because I didn't color it, and so the little, little bits that don't fit really do fit because it's not colored. The feet are completely different than what I had originally. It's just nothing the same. But I guess I'll explain myself. Um, he did originally have that beak with the with the little turkey things on it. And he does... He is supposed to be very angry. But those eyes are horrible, man. Oh, man. I do like the shape of both of those sets of wings. And I, I think overall it's not terrible. I gave him a big old thing under him for some reason. That should have been a little bit more flat. But I think overall it's just not very good. Um, so the the pink from the Trilac was supposed to foreshadow the psychic type for Quadrac. Um, so yeah, he's supposed to be psychic type. He will... Um, be weird to, to use, I think. Um, I was thinking he would fly mostly. Um, he's not a flying type, but he does. He is uh, the. Uh, uh, he does have the ability to fly, which I, I think makes a lot of sense since he is a bird. Um, yeah. The the feet being pink was not a, a thing originally. Originally, he had he was a lot bigger at the bottom um and that middle section was a lot taller and his legs went way further down and he had little sacks of like energy or whatever and that sort of just turned into the feet and i i just i don't know man <laughs> it I, i'm gonna have to redo these sets but i i wanted to put them out anyway um just because because i was getting tired of drawing uh Smash Brothers stuff, so I just wanted to draw something else. Uh, so there you go. That is that. Um, yeah. Quadrac, the psychic bird Pokemon. Quadrac has evolved its tail into an extra set of wings, making it a faster flyer than the two previous evolutions. Quadrac is also far easier for trainers to manage 
because it somehow seems to know people's feelings better than they do themselves. Right, well, I think that is it for this video. If you liked any of the art or uh, any of my horrible, stupid dialogue, um, consider subscribing. Uh, and if you liked, you know, just the art part of it, uh, go uh, follow me over on my Instagram. Sometimes I'll post uh, artwork and stuff over there. And then you can also get a better look at this artwork from this video if you go subscribe to the second Instagram link down in the description. And that will take you to this Pokemon region Pokedex uh, Instagram page. So uh, go follow me over there because I, I do post these early over there, some of them. I try to keep some secret for the video. Uh, but, you know, I do try to post some of them early over there for those that are following me over there. Uh, and then, like I said, my, my personal Instagram uh, is also sort of for this YouTube channel. I post updates over there on what I'm doing. And if you don't know anything about the 50 sub special, um, I got a trailer over there. Go f freaking watch it, dude. That uh, video should be coming out August 24th. That's what I have set on my calendar. But uh, to be honest with you guys, I haven't been I haven't been filming any of it. So uh, I need to get on that uh, because I I basically have the story. Uh, it's just not filmed at all. So, uh, get excited for that. Um, I will say there's going to be some cameos in there if I can get some people to cameo in it. So, um, I'm going to start messaging people about that. So, get ready, guys. I don't know if I'll get anybody to come and do this, but if I do, that'd be sick. Uh, see you guys later. Hope you liked it. Bye.